The world's richest skateboarding competition is all set to roll into the Northern Cape this September. Offering a potential purse prize of over 19 million rand to its overall winner, the Maloof Money Cup will for the first time ever leave the shores of United States and head to the Diamond City of Kimberley. The Maloof Money Cup will take place at the soon-to-be-completed skate park, a stone throw away from Kimberley's big hole and adjacent to its new international conference centre. Situated on land donated by Diamond Giants De Beers, the skating facility will cost around 3 million rand to erect and will cover approximately 100,000 square metres. Putting their full weight and enthusiasm behind the project, Northern Cape Tourism will be running a number of events, tours and initiatives to promote the tournament and develop skateboarding in South Africa. Uh, for us it's very important because it's, uh, it's a sport that is youth focused, it's hitting the culture where it is at, um, it's part of us addressing our, 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 youth, pro our youth problems, getting the street, uh, children off the street. Skateboarding is, is a sport that is easily accessible, it is, it is free, um, rather it is cheap. Uh, anybody can skateboard, uh, anybody can come, become a champion. It's also a family event. Uh, we just completed uh, visiting 32 uh, cities around the province. And uh, the participation, enthusiasm, and, and you know, it was just awesome. As part of the Skateboarding for Hope campaign, a 10-month tour and outreach program across SA, this weekend saw two of the world's most renowned skateboarders, Chris Haslam and Mark Appleyard, give fans in Kimberley a taste of the extreme sports action to come in the following months. In conjunction with local industry leaders Revolution, the promotional event saw the two skaters performing a demo on ramps provided by Indigo Skate Camp, as well as interacting and tutoring groups of up-and-coming skaters. 31-year-old Haslam, who has been a professional skater for over a decade, has won multiple competitions and is featured in a skateboarding TV game, believes the Maloof Money Cup will help local skaters become internationally recognized. Contests will come down here and pros will come down here from America and obviously all the kids will be seeing these pros and you know and, and with the internet so immediate too they, they'll start learning faster you know and, and uh, I think it can only get better from there because they're going to start entering contests too because they're going to start getting good enough to compete with everyone and then it you know it's just going to you know, cycle and everyone's going to get better from they're going to come back to South Africa kids will learn from them and you know and then so on and so on so I mean I think it's for sure dude people could easily make a living off of it, it I mean, in the near future, especially when the Maloof Cup comes down and, you know, other contests are like that around. I mean, I can already see it, like, some of the skaters that we've been skating with are pretty, they could, they could be something, you know. Kimberley resident Warwick Dalport, who was awarded a skateboard by Haslam and Appleyard at the event, expresses his excitement for the upcoming Maloof Money Cup. Everything depends on this. Maloof is one of the biggest actually the biggest world skateboarding event right now and skateboarding is just going up to the next level so for me to be here is like an honor a privilege and these guys are just insane